Hey guys, welcome to Shadow Gaming. So the PTS has officially released as of today. I haven't managed to get it started yet, but I might be on the wrong time zone. What you're seeing right now is me on Uplay. This is where you're going to find the PTS. It's going to be under my games. It's going to be buried down there. And if you've uninstalled it before, then it'll also be under expired, but it'll only tell you to get the full game. What you're going to need to do is open up your Uplay launcher and you're going to need to go under my games. And then down below under all your games, there's going to be the division two PTS or Tom Clancy's the division two PTS. It'll say play on mine, but it'll say download if you haven't downloaded it yet. Now I'm going to go over and check Reddit and see what they have to say about the patch notes and exactly what this phase of the PTS is all about. Alright, so the first search turns up with nothing, so I end up going to Reddit, the ultimate source of news for the division. I definitely recommend if you don't already have subscribed to the division subreddit on Reddit to do so. Right now I'm trying to launch the game as well and try to connect to the servers, but they are doing maintenance or something I believe. Now if you're having a problem opening it um, in the next couple hours, definitely leave a comment below and I will have figured it out by then. If it's maybe a problem that I installed it in a different directory, it's on my D drive instead of C drive like normal. Now it's saying that the test will include difficulty scaling, dark zone, gear attributes, conflict, exotic weapons, and normalization to have fun and we will definitely have fun playing that PTS huh guys I mean come on are we really looking for bugs All right here is the PTS focus and once again I show you where it is and how you can mark it as your favorite so you don't have to go looking around for it again so the new gunner specialization is out that's going to be a focus of the Press pts is start. trying that specialization out season pass holders um, like me and some of you guys out there watching this you will have that specialization right away ready to go with a special mission attached to it and that will be available on the pts as well Anyone that didn't pre-order or had the season pass, I mean, that you guys are going to have to grind for it. They're going after skills, talents, accommodations, players, and then a ton of bug fixes. So they're going to be nerfing a few things, buffing a few things, and fixing a lot of issues. And I think some of these are just jokes. They've kind of always done that. This one right here with the Ubisoft Club Rewards, oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Um, you can actually turn that off, the glitch in the inventory and in the options. I suggest to anyone that hasn't been in the options menu to go there lately. It's changed a lot. This guy right here, he is definitely on point with the gold mods. I could not agree with him anymore. Um, shout out to MFT Rex. I gave him some gold for that because the gold mods are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, they re require so much skill power when you just don't have the skill power for it, especially if you're a DPS shredder, or, which is pretty much what everybody is. You know, there isn't much build diversity out there right now. And the ones that are build diversity are definitely very niche. I would recommend um, viewing Epic Slayers or um, Legacy Killa HD. So it's going to be removing that bulletproof backpack from that girl that runs around with the drone in her backpack. The engineers uh, will now set up turrets on the ground if there's no valid cover. They're going to remove the exclamation mark and the UI from apparel caches and field proficiency caches and now the reviver hive is finally going to be fixed I talked about this in a previous video my last two videos actually 
in the dark zone they're going to allow you to go rogue now in the occupied dark zone so that's good news as well to all you pvp players out there and manhunt ranks are going to just be non-stop infinite you can just keep doing it the only mission is the shipping containers containing the virus samples will now be easier to spot i believe that's for an exotic weapon and they're changing the mods but they're not changing them the way that underneath um, the MFK guy that I gave gold to said it's talking about the specialization gunner which I mentioned earlier and the new cosmetic rewards and the special field research mission that you can do with the gunner specialization so the PTS starts for everybody on Monday June 4th which is weird because I thought it was Tuesday, June 4th, but anyway, it's going to be June 4th at 1600 hours CS, CEST, 10 a.m. Eastern or EDT, and then 7 a.m. Um, PDT, and this will be title, title Update 4, and it's testing only on the PC. Oh, so console players, I'm sorry, but you guys aren't going to be able to test out anything on the PTS on this one. I did notice um, last year they did console PTSs for PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, maybe it was both, but hopefully you guys will be able to get a PTS in the future. If not, at least knowing that the PTS, you can look up on the news on Reddit and everything and see how it's going, but playing the PTS is fun especially if you've already min-maxed your builds and you're just kind of bored of the game right now. I'm currently not. Uh, I still love the game and I'm not really bored of it, but there are a lot of people out there that are, and this PTS can be something that you could play that'll be fresh and newer and have some bug fixes. But keep in mind, there's going to be bugs of their own that are going to show up on the PTS. There's always bugs fixed, but there'll probably be some new ones introduced. So be cautious of that. And it's about 47 gigabytes if you're gonna download it and install it. So make sure you have enough room. And anyway, agents, this has been Shadow Gaming. Please like and subscribe to my content if you'd like to see more, especially more gaming news like this on The Division 2. And please uh, comment if you like the video content underneath, I call it the SHD network section. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are. Stay up, agents. This has been Shadow Gaming. Take care.